Well, we are back. Episode one. Um, yeah, boy. Get up. Come on. Come on, boy. Up here. Up here. Come on. Sit down. Crazy animal. Big exhaust build. Keen as to get into it. It's going to be a few, few little fab tips. Um, what I've done. Stay no sections. Bit of TIG welding. Um, that's about it. It's, it's um, yeah, hopefully, it, hopefully it's no, no dramas with it. Yeah. I put the put the intro video to the build. Um, I hope you guys can share it, share it to your friends. Um, if you think you'll enjoy a bit of fab work, um, I love doing it. I love getting out here. Channel's all about um, building things with what we got, what we can find around the house, or shed, I should say. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to get into it. I'll get in there, uh, get this exhaust done and uh, get this episode happening. So next one, once this done, is going to be, I I think I'm gonna go for the front disc brakes, back, back, back disc brake, all the axle stuff, get the drive line set up and keep it happening. So like I said, please subscribe, share it, tell your friends and watch the Mini XR8 get built. So we're gonna start on the header pipe. Nice little stone bend, just like the real one. We're going full stone Um That's pretty lucky. It fits up nicely into the header, in the cylinder head. I don't know if you can see it, but get down in there. It does need a bit of a flat to go against the exhaust gasket we put in there. And pipe being pipes a bit thin there, so what I'm going to do is inside diameter of that is obviously way too big for the little 110 so we'll measure it up um, the actual inside port size I'll machine down a washer machine the inside diameter of that out to match sit it up in there TIG weld that to that um, this so gives it a bit more face around here to seal on the gasket up inside the head not going for performance, it is only a little 110 uh, for the kids to muck around on, but that's how we'll seal her off. That's where we're going to start. Got the little collet set up. Machined a little taper on there. I'll probably just run the TIG and just fuse this mostly. Get a nice little bead, of, bead around that. Um, just quickly, got the new little TIG here. Razor 200. Another one, um, I had the model before this, which lasted me for years, done me very well, so I just got the upgraded digital one. Cracking little machine, can't speak highly enough of it so far. The settings on it are crazy, and for how cheap it was, I've used a lot of TIG welders, but, mate, for the shed welder, absolute weapon. So I'll set this on. I'll run it, oh, I could probably pulse it, but I'll just probably run it straight, do you say, for now? and um, put a run in around this. Beauty. So that's all welded. For this, we're just gonna rough it. Um, so what I've done, I've drilled six mil nuts, one's drilled, two's drilled. I bored them out. These nuts are there just to hold them at the height. We'll um, put our header in. Only so bad earthen through the frame, through the motor. Probably will wear the ring to the ball, but she'll be right. We're tacked in there now. We'll take her off and fully weld it. What do you reckon, Alex? Hmm? What do you reckon? Got her all welded. Um, like everything, bit of heat, she's pulled a little bit. Um, 
once again, it's not the way I'd really like to do this, but I just don't have the time. So that's what's happening. Um, it's a little bit tight. doesn't want to get up there so what we do being a boiler maker we love smacking things with big hammers especially six mil studs more than that on there and we get a far too big hammer and we give the stud a little hit. Now I can already hear the machine is crying in their chairs, but you know what? Stuff yes. Because we now fit. Beautiful. So we've got it there bolted up. All fits in there nice and snug. Um, I tied a little porky before, the um, bit of pipe I've got is actually not stainer, it's aluminised steel, mild steel, proper exhaust pipe, but um, anyway, so what we're going to do, I'm going to chop it off here, because that is actually angled up a little bit, and we're going to hit the engine mount here, you can see it's, no, it's a bit hard to tell, but yeah, it's angling up a little bit, so I'm going to take it off, cut it here, um, Cut a section up just to under the tray, just to under the tray here, vertical, like vertical down from the side of the tray here. So we're clearing all the cabin here. It's going to run straight along here. There's nothing under here. Um, 90 degree up, up under the tray. We'll run it. I'm thinking, run it through here, and then we're gonna. I don't know. We'll. We'll just tee piece it off and then come out. Like I said, it's for the kids. It doesn't have to be crucial, but um, I'm not quite sure if we'll, we'll see how we go, but we could run it from through here and then drop it down just so you don't see it under the back panel there, back tray guard. So, on the real one, it actually runs up, up through here, but see so how we go. So we've got the header on, I'll cut that back a bit, um, we'll come back to the engine cross, en engine mount cross member here, but um, it is actually a little bit lower than the plane of the exhaust, how that's coming out, so what we're going to need to do is not use tapes, we'll use it the backyard away. Uh, there's the cross member about there. So, center, yeah, sweet. That's where we are. We're gonna make a cut there and uh, TIG weld it on up there. Be running on sort of a taper down to the center of that cross member there, and then I'll taper back up back there. I could get all fancy with pipe benders but yeah it's not how we do it around here. So we've got the header on. I'll cut that back a bit. Um, we'll come back to the engine cross and en engine mount cross member here but um, it is actually a little bit lower than the plane of the exhaust of how that's coming out. So what we're going to need to do is not use tapes, we'll use it the backyard away. Uh, there's the cross member about there. So, center, yeah, sweet. So we've got a marked off there, I'm going to cut that. It is 10.30 at night. If there's one thing I hate, it's annoying the neighbors with noise. So we're getting the trusty old hacksaw out. We're 
coming to the tail pipes, I'm going to uh, I'll do it a couple of ways. I'm going to uh, run it down under these little cross members there. But I'm going to get all tricky so you don't see from behind the exhaust sort of hanging here. What's well, obviously come down and come and go under the cross members, but I'm going to come across out of both of them. And I am going to scallop these cross members and then I can make some sort of little exhaust hanger and then run it through there, drop it down into the front. What do you reckon you clown? Oi, what do you reckon? Yeah mate, all good? All good. We've got a little tray off. Like I was saying, we're going to run it through here. You go straight through here, scallop these out, come down, and then got our uh, Wuhan coronavirus hole saw bit. I'll get it done. That will give us enough clearance. Run a, run a center drill through like that. Bob's your uncle. We've got the centre section on, little 90 degree up, coming back, it's tacked under there, little flares working out not too bad, <laughs> it's not exactly how I had it planned but should be right, the other 90 degree into here, come up, cross, come out, out the back, cross, out the back. Hopefully we can get her off in one piece. Yeah, it's good. Cut that off there. Well her on. So that's the back of it. Got the exhaust run up through. They're gonna have some sick little mounts up in there. That comes down. Nice Stano bends. Runs along a little flare joint. Up into the header. Quick little boilies layout, rough as guts. But, uh, I could have easily just ran 16 mil. On our centre length of the pipe, could have just ran 16mm or 32mm extra onto our centre length and then um, just mark 45 on the piece of pipe, but we'll just layer them like that because I'm a boily. We love using chalk. So I'll describe them now. Oh, I only need this, this measurement here and then 45 off it. Cut them and um, Actually, we won't do it like that. We will move it over because then we can just flip the other one around and that'll give us that piece out. Tig weld them up. Line it up at the back and we'll sweep. Got a layer out on the, the layout here. Trust the old V block. That is just about spot on. Should have 462 for the center. Perfect. You always do this. You should always put the earth on before you uh, before you hold things because you always move it just like with your pen. Too much drama. Uh, 
new tailpipe outlet. We'll do a little wherever it's got to line up to come out and meet the exhaust up there and we're sweet. So we're going to weld this, um, this tail section up now, mainly for the fact that I really just want to weld those because I know I'm going to get a good bead into it. And um, if I go tacking it onto the long piece, it's going to be a lot harder to get this into the shape that I want it. I can sit this in the vise and get a nice bead around it. So we'll sit one into it. I won't bore you with too much welding in real time, but you sort of just nice to weld the old stone. We've got the little end piece welded up, tacked in position. But, uh, it will end up about there once the mounts are made. Mm -hmm. Knocked up these the lend bits. So they're to go in there. They will be centered once that's once that's lifted, they'll line up. Weld in like that. She's nearly done. So we're gonna uh we're going to undo the exhaust now, it's all tacked in. Uh, I'll pull it out of there, see so if we can get it out in one. Put it on the bench, TIG welder all up, put it back in and make them out, and we're done. It was a little bit annoying because I might have said that it was fully stainless, but these pieces and these pieces, straight pieces here, are actually um, aluminised exhaust piping, so mild steel, but um, yeah, they put a coating on it, so you know, to prevent rust. Um, any welders or exhaust fabricators will know that it's shit to weld. Um, these stano bits are just begging for a nice bead to be put around and flow nicely, and then you're joined on aluminised, joined to aluminised mild steel, probably second to weld and gal. As a boiler, it's rubbish. It's like trying to paint over, paint over grease, so to speak. But still getting not a too bad a bead on it. Um, see so yeah. that's stano to the aluminised um, mild steel. Um, that'll be stano to stano, stano to aluminised. So should be right. There she is, one exhaust pipe for a mini car. Last thing I've got to do now um, is mount, have some sort of mount to hold this where it's got to be, central to the holes in the back of the tray. I'm just going to use a bit of mild steel plate under here. I'll put a little fold in that, cut this back a bit, might fancy it up a little bit with some speed holes. Probably should be rubber mounted or something here, but eh, the motor's rigid mounted, so I don't think it's going to do too much twisting. And the amount it gets used, it probably won't. Um, probably won't matter. Twenty-five be fifty RHS, so we'll mark off twenty-five for the fold. Probably not like that. About 25mm. I'll just put a slight little kick in it for it to sit up on the RHS and the back piece come down to where the exhaust got to be and put a little TIG weld across it. So I fold it up, 25mm across the bottom edge of the RHS and this bit will come down and weld along here. That's 
that's it's like that we out to this side a little bit I'm gonna twist that down that's basically where it sits I'll trim this back and I'll put a little tig tig a couple little stitch welds along here around the edges off and two six mil bolts down through and that's it done so I've gone to put the little tray back on and my luck, Murphy's Law, where I've just guessed to drill the mountain plate, the head of the bolt hits right here. So I'm just going to drill it. I've marked it. I'll just run a little hole into the bottom of that for the head to clear. No one will ever see it. Won't hurt nothing. Solved. Bit rough, but should be right. So just getting back to it is um, I've got the little mount fabbed up. Um, it's tacked in there now. The exhaust holes are where they've got to be. Um, it is night time now. I've had to do um, grown up things all day. So uh, I'm just getting back to it now. I've got two little worlds to do, and that's the exhaust done. We'll be going on to the. Um, Hey, I'm good. And that's that, it's off. And we'll be going on to the, um, yeah, on to the next episode. So, no. so I've got a bit of an idea today. Got home. Uh, I thought, oh, I can test how that's going to sound. So, I've got another little three-wheeler over at my old man's joint. It's um, got a very similar engine in it than this, as this one. So, I'm going to unbolt this and take it around there. And we're going to do a sound check. I'm dying to hear what it sounds like. I really don't have to, but I just want to see what it sounds like. Let's do it. Well, that's her unbolted. That comes out so much easier than I thought. So I'm going to take her around to the old man's joint. See if we can get a bolt up to the little Honda Trike. See what she sounds like. Let's go. So we've rocked up here at the old man's. We've dragged her out. I'm going to uh, just quickly take this exhaust off it, and um, should just mount up under there, hopefully. What an absolute setup. She's bolted on. No idea what this is going to sound like. Trust the old bucket. Beautiful. Alright, first start. No idea what this is going to sound like. Is that Oaks? Sounds good, eh? Pretty stoked with that. Um, that's basically it for uh, the first build video. So hit that subscribe, hit the bell. Let's get this going.